About this one, Supermicro has been uh, one of the most interesting companies in the AI space uh, for the last few years. It's been at the forefront of what we're seeing in terms of the AI infrastructure build out, experiencing phenomenal growth by powering some of the most demanding AI workloads with innovative, high efficiency server and storage solutions. However, this rapid ascent has also come with its own set of complexities. Supermicro operates in an intensely competitive environment, navigating geopolitical shifts that impact global supply chains and facing the challenge of sustaining this incredible growth. So who better to talk to us about how the company is going to address those challenges than Charles. Charles, great to speak to you, great to meet you. Look, you've ridden this wave of AI growth we've seen over the past few years. Um, what is demand like right now as you see it for your services? Yeah, I mean, uh, thank you for the appreciable uh, invitation and thank you to uh, have a chance to talk to you. Yeah, AI boom, uh, especially start from three years ago, have been growing so fast. And I personally believe this AI boom trend will continue for many years to come. And uh, hardware demand, software demand, all kind of talent, all kind of resource demand are uh, uh, imagined, uh, kind of imagined. And uh, uh, we are well prepared to support our work, uh, to support all our hardware demand. It's worth just spending a time since we're here in, in France about Europe's approach to AI infrastructure as well. Do you think? the continent is investing enough versus what you see uh, happening in the US, in the Middle East, in, in Asia as well. Yeah, the AI boom, especially start from USA very quickly in the last three years. And everyone see that demand grow to Middle East, grow to uh, Europe uh, very strong and very fast now. That's why, I mean, I'm very happy to uh, visit a uh, European uh, customer and the market and aim to uh, support our people here, our customer here uh, for the uh, best AI solution especially for my AI system, uh, GPU computing power, and uh, storage, uh, switch, and uh, all the uh, AI data center infrastructure, or kind of uh, AI uh, factory infrastructure. So from system to uh, infrastructure, uh, to management, to everything that a data center and AI cloud uh, partner need. What, what's your approach at the moment, Charles, to the European market? Are you looking to expand in terms of uh, the customer base here, but also uh, in terms of manufacturing? Uh, can be both. Indeed, uh, today we already have a manufacturing facility in uh, Europe. And uh, major uh, uh, operation engineering team for sure in San Jose, uh, we have uh, about 65% operation manufacturer based in San Jose. And then about uh, twenty percent to thirty percent in Taiwan, and then uh, certain percentage in Europe. And we like to grow the resources the support in Europe because I understand the uh, potential here is so strong. People are so passionate to grow AI, to grow IT. So I mean, uh, from a production uh, R and D to a service, everything. And in terms of your competitive position because i've been here speaking to a lot of companies and a lot of companies trying to do what you did a lot of companies trying to build uh these huge systems deploy them uh build the cloud around that uh, as well it's an incredibly competitive space so what is your plan to to stay ahead <laughs> i mean competition is the nature because if put me it's such a big uh uh, it meant such a big opportunity. So for sure, lots of smart company, smart people, uh, hardworking people, passionate people like to participate, which is good. I mean, the more complete competition make the industry grow even faster, even better, right? So we as a hardware company and now extend to a total solution infrastructure company, we have a very strong engineering uh, foundation and uh, operation foundation. A service foundation, and which I plan to continue grow, not just in uh, uh, Europe, in the near future, in Asia, in uh, USA as well, and global. I mean, uh, uh, the demand will continue to be strong. Yes, the com competition also coming strong, but it depends on who can provide a better technology a better solution, who can service the market, can service the customer better. 
So I'm very happy to、uh, to see more and more people、uh, participate in this segment. Is there a is there a concern amongst you that this is an area that becomes heavily commoditized, where margins、uh, come under pressure,、uh, where where players are competing more on price at this point than technology?、Uh, yes, it's always like that, especially hardware. When the volume is huge, when there are lots of competition, for sure they are always have a, a cost of price pressure. But that's a part of the nature of the industry, right? So uh, uh, depends on uh, uh, the technology, the solution we can provide. And in this area, we have a pretty good confidence and very good、uh, passion to continue、uh, develop. A better product, better technology in the system design, in the kind of uh, uh, liquid cooling, for example, as thermal uh, solution, and for sure、uh, data center or uh, AI uh, factory uh, infrastructure, end to end management software,、uh, deployment. How do we、uh, design product quicker and、uh, manufacture product quicker and better? And help a customer deliver their online service quicker, better, more reliable, and also lower cost. Right? Our goal is for sure to help a customer, help a partner to lower their cost, so they can grow their business even stronger.、Okay. So AI can service people even much more. Right? Charles, you mentioned liquid cooling there. We'll definitely get onto that because that's a big part of your story. But I. A lot of your success so far has been also tied to the growth of, of Nvidia, which has really cemented itself as the gold standard for for training in particular as well.、Um, do you see a world where、A、Nvidia's position in, in perhaps not training side, but more on the inferencing side, can can be challenged at this point?、Uh, you know, people like AI. AI has been a very strong, but you know, AI can be much stronger, much more powerful. Uh, and much more reliable, much more safe, much more fancier. So the doom is,、uh, I believe, is unlimited, right? So there are lots of、uh, area to grow and、uh, lots of room to make money from the other point of view, right? So、uh, as a infrastructure company, system company, our job is to design again better product and、uh, introduce the solution easier for our customer. Uh, quick to deployment. For example, traditional data center、uh, take a company、uh, two year to build, right? And with our help, with our uh, server uh, building block solution, I believe we can help customer、uh, reduce thirty、uh, percent of the time. And if customer convert、uh, warehouse to a data center, traditionally it may take customer one year, and with our Uh, data center building block solution. I believe customer can build their data center from warehouse to a professional data center, liquid cooling data center, for example, in four months, for example. So that save customer tremendous of time, make their business grow quicker and more reliable. And then our partner can focus on their software, focus on their core business, while we help them provide the computing power. The storage, the switch, and the whole infrastructure. That's our direction, and this direction continue to be、uh, more intense, stronger. So very soon,、uh, I hope I can work with.、Uh, we can work with most、uh, European、uh, company, help them to build their、uh, software dream, their AI dream, quicker, better, and. Better cost as well. Yeah, and Charles, how are you keeping up with the the pace of innovation? This is an industry that moves very quickly. Nvidia has said we're going to bring out a, a new GPU every year. How are you keeping up with that that pace? Very fast, very fast. I mean,、uh, I I always emphasize teamwork, right? And、uh, we have a lots of team inside the company, and we work with lots of partner, kind of Nvidia, AMD,、uh, Intel. Program right, so we work with lots of partner and work with lots of customer for sure. And inside Supermicro, we have lots of team: hardware team, software team, deployment team, uh, service team. So because many team, many partner, 
That's why when a combination, the configuration, a combination, almost become unlimited, right? So I mean, uh, the pace can be as fast as customer need. Uh, so we try to meet it, customers' demand. Charles, you mentioned liquid cooling earlier. Obviously, energy is such a big issue, a big conversation uh, in the AI game right now. Uh, I remember speaking to a chip founder recently who said, you know, we're going to run out of energy for this stuff. Uh, so how are you approaching uh, the energy uh, equation with direct liquid cooling? <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, we are a very lucky company. Since I founded a company in 1993, we designed all our product based on building block solution. And that building block solution helps you, Michael, to design product quicker and better product, better quality. Because all the block we define are compatible across different product line, across different generation of product. And not just compatible, but exactly optimized. Optimized for quality, optimized for time to market, and also optimized for cost. Right? And the other very lucky uh, fact that we have uh, is that we so-called green computing. In year 2004, uh, in an occasion chance, uh, the green computing idea came to my mind. The idea is to design all of our product to consume less power, less power consumption. For example, last year alone, we ship 4,000 rack, GPU rack, uh, with direct liquid cooling. And from our calculation, from our customers' uh, operation, we work together to save them up to 30%, or some customers even save up to 40% of energy power because the uh, liquid cooling is much more efficient than traditional air cooling. Before people say, we are liquid cooling, uh, how about the leakage? How about the complexity, the reliability, the maintenance? So we spend three years, day and night, to improve the liquid cooling system from components to system to management software. And last year, again, we shipped 4,000 racks to the market. So far, every customer is so happy because, number one, save them energy cost and save them less energy consumption, right? Up to 30%, 40%, that's number one. Number two, it's now more expensive. Indeed, save money. Uh, save money for not just for operation costs, but also for capital expense. So save money and save energy and save water as well because the system, cooling system is more efficient. That's why the whole data center use also much less cooling water. And people say, where well, are cooling so complicated? Will that take a longer time? Again, the good answer is uh, with our building block solution, we make all the components, all the parts ready for customer. And we test, we validate all the life cycle, all the reliability. So make sure how do we deliver to customer the liquid cooling system data center indeed perform more reliable than traditional air cooling data center. So it's more reliable, less trouble, and easy for maintenance. Traditionally, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, when people go for deep cooling, when some parts need to be replaced, just to search in the parts, it's a not easy job. But with our building power solution, we prepare all the parts and keep inventory, not just in our headquarters in the USA, but in Europe, in everywhere, uh, every big city around the world. So in case customers need to replace or to fix the problem, they can fix it right away. And indeed, it surprised me, not many chance we had to fix the problem for customer. So because the system have been designed, the components have been designed and manufactured, very reliably. So uh, easy to deploy even and easy to maintain this. Uh, Charles, you, as a CEO, you have to think about obviously the future, but you also got to think about the current risks. You mentioned at the start, you think the AI boom is, is kind of at the beginning. There's a lot of demand to come. Well, what do you think are the biggest risks 
for that not happening? Is it geopolitical? Is it something else? <laughs> yes. Well, you are evil. It's a, a political problem or a global recession. Therefore, she are well impact the booming uh, pace. But we have temporary. After the political things change, after the uh, evil there, a global economic problem, it will be short term to one year, two years, three years, the longest. After that, for sure, when the market return to uh, normal, people continue to uh, need to uh, uh, have an AI. And not just need to have an AI, not to have an AI. Because AI just help people. Right? For example, a company like Supermanco, today, up to 40% of our firmware, software, are designed by AI. And even hardware, more and more percentage of our hardware job are replaced by AI now. So um, AI can help everywhere. And people worry, hey, AI can design software, AI can design hardware, then do you have to lay off people? <laughs> the answer is no. Indeed, we continue to hire people because the demand is big. And also the technology always can be better, faster, and more reliable, and more safe. That's why, I mean, uh, the risk I personally believe is small. Charles, we've got about 30 seconds left, so I just want to get your view on the future. Um, you know, what disruptive technology or big market shift are you preparing for that's going to define your next few years of growth? Uh, for sure. I mean, uh, the market is very dynamic, right? And like what you say, there are more and more competitors. So we always are thinking about, hey, how can we provide something better to customers? For example, uh, before we focus on uh, uh, AI, GPU, computing power, storage, switch, and cooling solution, right? And now we start to extend our business scope to data center, infrastructure, total solution. Or you can say AI cloud, uh, total solution, right? So by providing uh, all the components, all the parts that customer need, and we design in advance, validate in advance. So uh, before we ship to customer, we already prove all the building block when customer select to optimize for their workload, optimize for their uh, application, the performance already optimized, the quality already optimized, and the cost also have been optimized. Charles, thanks for the insight into to where we're at and what the future might hold. Charles Liang, the CEO of Supermicro, everyone. Round of applause. Thank you.